everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making tacos. I'm using ground turkey and to season that I'm using the Ortega taco seasoning mix. This is the one that I grew up on so it's the one that I continue to use. I'm also using the Ortega taco shells and the Ortega taco sauce. And to add something a little extra I like to throw in the Hidden Valley uh, ranch dressing seasoning mix. That gives it a lot of flavor as well. I also want to add that I'm well aware that these are not authentic Mexican tacos and while those are super delicious, these are delicious as well. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Alright, in this hot pan I'm adding two pounds of ground turkey to brown. go ahead and break the meat up so that I have small crumbles later. I did not add any extra fat to the skillet and as you can see nothing is sticking so it's not necessary to add extra canola or grapeseed oil. Alright so I'm just going to let this sit here and brown and I will be back. As you can see my ground turkey is done so I'm going to drain the fat off and return it to the skillet and season it up. Alright now that my meat is drained I'm going to add my ranch seasoning. I also use this in my taco soup. If you want to see how I make that I'll leave a link on the screen. You can go check that video out. After that I'm adding the taco seasoning. Just do this to taste. And then I like to add some of the taco sauce. This gives a great consistency and flavor to the meat. And of course, some water. Pour that in. Let's stir this around. And it looks watery right now, but we're going to let it simmer and it will thicken up and be absolutely delicious. While this is simmering, I'm going to preheat my oven so that I can prepare my shells. And I'm also going to go ahead and dice my toppings and get those all set up. As you can see, I've prepped most of my cool toppings. I'm just shredding the cheese. I like to shred my cheese instead of buying the shredded cheese. The shredded cheese has a non-caking agent on it and leaves a powdery residue. So just shredding a fresh block of cheese is a lot better. Alright, for my toppings I have some shredded lettuce, some lime, cilantro, diced tomato, cheddar cheese, and some sour cream that I've put in a Ziploc bag so that it's easier to pipe onto the taco. Alright, as you can see, my meat has thickened nicely. It smells amazing. It has a beautiful, beautiful color. It's thick, almost like a gravy. It's absolutely delicious. It's been simmering for about 20 minutes or so, and it is done. We can go ahead and assemble the tacos. Okay, so everything is done. I'm gonna load up a taco here. I'm starting with a little bit of the meat. And then I'm gonna go in with my sour cream. See how easy that is to pipe in there? Just like that. I'm going to do a little bit of lettuce. Some cheese. And some 
tomato. I'm gonna do a little cilantro and a little drizzle of taco sauce. And there we go, a finished taco. I'm gonna plate up the rest of these and I'll be back. My plating is complete. I have three tacos here. They look absolutely delicious. I cannot wait to dive in. If you try this recipe, please let me know. And if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I will leave a link in the description box. I'll also leave a link on the screen. I'll see you guys later.